Hi guys and welcome back. I need to pull my camera over. Hold please. Okay, there we go. That's better. It was throwing me off. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. So today I have a bunch of new products in front of me that I have been super excited to try. Um, I'm hoping the foundation matches my self tan. So we shall see. We'll find that out together. But let's go ahead and jump in because I have like 14 products here to try. So let's go. Okay, I lied, just kidding, like 11 products. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to be trying out is the Infallible Brow Lamination. This bitch was hard to find. I finally got it at Walmart. Um, but it basically is just like a clear brow gel, claims to give you that laminated look, holds brows in place, um, and has a specific type of spoolie to give you that look uh no sticky texture dries quickly sweat resistant and gives no little white residue thingies all right here we go let's give this bad boy a shot oh it's really small i really like this sometimes they're super big and like fat to where it's kind of weird how you put it on your brow but look how little this guy is I really like that. Okay, brought you in a little bit closer so we can look at this together. Okay, I like this formula. My usual suspect when it comes to brow gel is the CoverGirl one in the little pink bottle. Ooh, but I'm liking this. Oh, nice. Look at that. That is, that's nice. It even gets my little guys up here to like stand up. Usually I have to fill in to even make it look like I have any type of brow up there. This is my good brow, I think. I think. I can't keep up. But I really like that look. I like the laminated look. Anytime I can take less time to fill in my brows, I am a happy camper. Yeah, actually this one's my bad brow and the fact that I thought it was my good brow says something. I do feel like I have to dip back in more than I usually do with brow gels, but I'm not mad at that. So based off first impressions, I like this. I have no complaints. I don't know how it wears through the day, obviously, but first impressions, I'm digging it. I like it. I'm gonna let them dry down a little bit before I fill them in. So now I'm gonna move on. These are also by L'Oreal. They are the Shadow Sticks. Um, this one is in Magnetic Bronze. What's this one in? Let's see, let's see. What Twinkly Rose. This is like a lighter shade. Obviously this is a bronzy shade. Um, I'm not a huge eyeshadow person anymore. I used to be but I figured I would give these a shot. So I think what I wanna do is put the bronzy shade more on the outer part of my eye. Here's what it looks like. You can kind of twist it up and get the color. Let me swatch this. Oh, it's super creamy. Like really, really, really creamy. Let me see what this shade looks like. Oh, that's, that's really pretty too. So here are the shades. Very, very, very creamy. The pigment's really good though. I honestly didn't read how to put these on. I probably should, but I'm just kind of going with the flow here. So I'm just gonna take my finger and spread it out and it's spreading nicely. Yeah, this is pretty. Now, do I realistically see myself using these? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a huge eyeshadow person. But they blend really nice. I do feel like if you over blend, the color is gone. Although that's probably better than uh, the opposite here. Then it not blending out at all. So I just think it's gonna be personal preference with these. I like this shade much better, the little lighter shade. Kind of make your eyes pop. I always like putting like a little bit in my inner corners of like a, I don't know, like a highlight shade or something like that. So I can see myself using this shade more. I can see myself highlighting my brow bone here. So this is a pretty shade. I probably would just use this by itself 
more than maybe the bronze shade. I don't mind it just to give a little bit of something than what I usually do because I'm one of those that get in a makeup rut and do the same thing every time I do my makeup. That's just me. My routine is super easy for me to do. I can get it done in like less than a half hour and it's just easy. That's what I do like about these little sticks though. It makes it easy to do a little bit of shadow, get some color on your eye, just get you out of your normal routine. So they're not terrible. You know, it's an affordable product. I do feel like I'm struggling on this eye a little bit. Probably should use a brush, but you know, just going in. I think we're good. Cause I could probably sit here and mess with it for like 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna let that go. Let me fill in my brows a little bit. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Brow Liner One Millimeter Nano Pencil. Oh yeah, the way that this has dried is nice. I don't think my brows are moving. It's, it's nice. So I think these next products are limited edition. I'm not quite sure. They are the e.l.f. Jelly Pop products. This one is the Dew Primer and this one is the Glow Stick. So I'm gonna start with the Dew Primer here. For those of you who watch me, I am obsessed with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. That's usually the uh, primer I use. That's all I been using um, so I'm not quite sure if I will like this so it's a gripping primer I do have like the elf gripping primer like the green one that's a dupe for the milk makeup one I do like it I just feel like I don't need a gripping primer I also use the urban decay new watermelon hyaluronic acid spray and that keeps my makeup on and lasts all day too. So this kind of primer, I don't know if it's realistic that I will actually use it, but I wanted to get it and give it a shot and show you and tell you if I like it or not. So here we are. Some people stick this product right on their face <laughs> just to show you how gripping it is. I don't feel like it's getting that grippy, maybe a little bit. Yeah, see, it's not sticking. <laughs> it's not sticking. It does say it takes about 30 seconds. I feel like it's been 30 seconds. It's sticky. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't think it's like sticky, sticky. You know what I mean? Now with the glow stick, this doesn't tell me when to use it. I, you could probably use it whenever you want. I just don't know how well it would go over powder. Maybe I can try that after I get my powder on, if I remember. But it just says use on the high points. Oh, it's very nice. I like how it doesn't look glittery. It's right here on the back of my hand here. Right here on the back of my hand here. How many times can I say here? But he here it is. <laughs> Let's just go in and just see what this does. It, I feel like my face is already glowy. So I don't know how, how much I'll be able to tell. You know what this would be nice for, in my opinion, is like a no makeup makeup day and you just want your skin to look really glowy and dewy. That's probably what I would use it for, but it does have some glow to it and it's not that glitter glow. I wanna try it over powder though and see how that works. So moving on to foundation. I thought this was a new foundation from CoverGirl. I've actually had this, I feel like a month already. I was gonna do a review on it and then once I started reading more into it, they just basically repackaged this from I think a glass little pump bottle and then put it on the shelves and remarketing it, which is fine. A lot of companies do that, but it is the Clean Invisible Foundation from CoverGirl. Looks like this. Buildable coverage, skin-like finish, clean, lightweight formula, blends easy, melts into skin, looks and feels like your skin, but better, won't clog pores. This is in the shade 120 Creamy Natural. I don't know if this is my right shade. The shades to me were a little goofy. I just kind of went with my gut here. So I'm hoping that it matches. Actually, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand here. I hope it matches my self tan, we'll see. 
No guarantees, my friends, okay? I think I can make it work. It's close. The undertone might be a little weird, but I can definitely make it work. It's thin. It does give me like um, a light coverage feel, which isn't bad. I don't mind a light coverage foundation, especially in the summertime. It's blending very nicely. Now, I'm not sure if this is good for all skin types. This is good for oily skin, dry skin. The way that it's going on, it does for me give me like a glowy look. It's definitely not drying down quickly. It's not drying down matte. It's going over everything very nicely. I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. It looks very pretty on the skin. Very hydrating, like a nice hydrating, moisturizing foundation. I might have to look this up because now this has me in a hold here. So it's a buildable coverage with a, with a natural finish. It gives you a fresh, healthy look. Simple ingredients, available in 24 shades. It gives you a soft focus effect that smooths and refines. Formulated for all day wear, it keeps skin hydrated. Suitable for all skin types, even sensitive skin. Fragrance-free, will not clog your pores. So anyway, um, it's very pretty. I like it. Not sure how it's going to wear, but so far so good. Okay, now let's try the Tarte Creaseless Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade uh, 22 in Light Neutral. I think it's going to be too dark. The lighting in Ulta, I swear to God, is not great. But this concealer gives 24 hour hydration 12 hour wear 12 hour crease proof and waterproof claims to be a creaseless creamy concealer so let's go in here um usually i like my concealer a little bit lighter just to kind of give a highlighted effect it's definitely creamy definitely feel feels hydrating yeah, it feels, feels good, feels okay, feels feels okay. Probably should have done this other product first before this, but I'm just gonna have to work with what what's going on here. So let me go ahead and start blending this out with my favorite concealer brush. I will link it down below. I talked about it in my last video. Game Changer. It's a little Kit and Paul, from, Kit and Paul brush, the five, A506 brush by BK Beauty. I told you, if you don't have your hands on it, you're gonna regret it. It's just hard for me to believe that something is truly a, like a creaseless formula. As long as I've been doing makeup, I don't think I've ever seen anything that's creaseless. But first impression, it is blending very nicely, very pretty. Looks pretty underneath of the eyes. Let's move on quickly to the Maybelline Kiss blush and bronzers even though they both say blush even though they both say blush i think you're supposed to use the darker shades like as a bronzer these are just really pretty liquid blushes from maybelline so let me go in and see oh this is in the shade number eight shades on Let's see. It blends very nicely. I think I would have to go with a darker shade to give me like a bronze, you know, a true bronzing effect. Let me go in with a little bit more, see if it's blendable. Go in on my five head here. I don't know if this shade is a good shade for me, but there wasn't much to choose from you guys have like sold this bad boy out i think you can get it on amazon easier at this point because ulta didn't have any i went to two different ultas to try and get all this stuff one ulta was like sold out of everything the other ulta um they didn't even have their displays up or anything so they're they were a little behind i think on launches it does give me like a bronzing effect they blend great um Again, I think it's just the shade is a little light, but the formula itself is nice. As far as the blush goes, this one's in the shade number five, Blazing Blush. 
very pretty shade. Everybody's going for that real, real light pink. Sh yeah, yep, that's, yep, very light, light pink. I think uh, kind of mimicking, what's her name, Sabrina Carpenter. And the big thing with blush now, they say your blush blindness, blindness, blush. I don't know what they call it, but it's like, where you're blinded to where you don't think you can have enough blush on, that's me. I'm guilty of that, that is me, 100%. Again, the formula is great. Blending like a dream. I just, the pigment, is it there for me? Like it's pretty, it's, it's very natural looking on the skin. It's probably just the shades that I chose. It gives a great glow to the skin. I think I would just like more pigment. Now, I don't know if these, are supposed to be maybe not so much in your face you know what I mean they're more just like a natural type of product for the skin you know summer you don't want a bunch of makeup on your face that type of situation I don't know I don't know much about the product but for me personally I would just want more more color payoff I guess is what I'm gonna say. I, I like more of a color payoff. I want, I want more and I'm not getting that. I need aggression. <laughs> I'm a Leo, I'm a fire sign. Give me that aggression, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is set underneath my eyes with the Polite Society Translucent. Um, more than a pretty face powder. I just did a review on this in my last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. So for not setting underneath of my eyes, there is a little bit of creasing um, in my, like there, it's settled into some of my fine lines underneath of the eyes. Now here's the deal. Um, I don't care what concealer I would have underneath of my eyes. They all would have done this by now, me not setting immediately. So I don't think that's anything necessarily against the concealer because <laughs> that would happen with any of them. So let me go ahead and set. Okay, let me dust some of this off. The concealer is pretty creasy underneath of my eyes. Sometimes that goes away after I set my face. Uh, yeah, I feel like this foundation's undertone's a little off, but I do, I feel like the, like, I need, like, I don't know about those blushes. Sorry to tell you. If you like them, groovy, okay? But for me, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I need more on my cheeks. I'm gonna... Everything just... Everything's gone. Okay, everything. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. I just need something. I need something on my face. I feel so one-dimensional. Now I'm just going in with the House Labs blush in uh, Dragon Fruit Days. Yeah, so right now underneath of my eyes, I'm not a fan of what's going on underneath of the eyes. I don't know where my little brush is. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Maybelline Superstay Powder Foundation. I don't know where my brush is, but this is what I was talking about when I can always lighten it up, like if I like the concealer. I don't know how I feel about the concealer right now because this eye looks super creasy. That's not how my under eye usually looks. So I'm gonna go out of order a little bit and set my face. This is the new L'Oreal Infallible Three Second Setting Mist. It reminds me of my hairspray that I use. That's why I'm like, <laughs> is this from Sexy Hair? Because it looks just like the bottle. Um, so I'm like, is this like hairspray for your face? That's the vibe this is giving me. So this is supposed to set your face in three seconds. And locks in your makeup up to 36 hours. Waterproof, sweat resistant, clothes resistant, smudge resistant, phone resistant, micro diffusing system, lightweight, non-sticky, won't mark or ruin makeup with a natural finish. Everything sounds good. So let's, oops. Okay, it reminds me of hairspray. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, okay, so I don't even know what to think. Um, that was different. It dries super quick. That's, that's definitely not a lie. So 
the Urban Decay All Nighter Hyaluronic Acid one gives me like a glow to the skin. This obviously to me is giving more of like a matte finish. Um, you know, this is small. I like a lot of setting spray. Yeah, there's no glow. The glow is gone. Yeah, it reminds me of, of a fucking hairspray for your face. <laughs> that is dead ass what it reminds me of, which isn't a bad thing. It's just, um, I feel like I need a little hydration. Speaking of hydration. If it makes my makeup wear good, I can't really be mad at it, you know? You could always add highlight, which... Let me take this glow stick and see how this is gonna go. Cause I need some glow. Give me some glow back. I don't know if I like how that looks over everything. Oh, you know what, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. You definitely have to blend it out though, that's for sure. All right, let me slap some mascara on real quick. Oh, I can see where it took off my no, it did take off some of my makeup. Hold on, let me, tr my microphone is super close. Let me try and hold real, real still. Man, I hope you guys can see that. It did take off some of my makeup right there. Only on this side though, not this side. Well, okay, for the finale, it is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Oil. This is in the shade Copa Cookie. They didn't have many shades of this. So this is what it looks like. It has the oil on the front of it. Cause I have a couple Fenty lip glosses, um, <clears throat> but uh, haven't tried the oil. So let's see, I mean, it is, is this like copper, like this is Copa cookie. I don't know what Copa is, was Copa, but is it Copa? Maybe it's Copa cookie? Copper cookie, copper cookie would make more sense, like copper, cause that's what that's that's what it's giving me. That's that color is what it's giving me. Holy mother! Okay, to me, like a lip oil, right? A lip oil that I've tried does not give you this much pigment. It's not sticky. It's nice. Like the e.l.f. lip oils, I feel like they leave my lips in 2.5 seconds. Um, I like the NYX lip oils. This feels like a lip oil with some pigment. Doing something different on the lips than what I'm usually doing because it's usually a nude. Let's just be real. I like how the eyes kind of go with the lips. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Fenty. Fenty never fails. Fenty's good. Okay, so here is the final look. What do y'all think? What are your thoughts? I don't know how to even fix this this um, little area on my face here. I think I'm just gonna have to rock it because <laughs> there's not much I can do. I try to get through this video very quickly with all these products. I have errands to run. This was fun. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm getting so close to 5,000 subscribers, which has been my goal for years. So I can't thank y'all enough. I really, really, really appreciate it. I'm going to keep manifesting the good vibes, the positivity coming to my channel because you guys are motherfucking rock stars and just keep my drive going. So I really, really, really appreciate y'all. And again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching.